Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order, and it is Thursday, April 19th, which means it's time for another one of my big days here in Pokemon Go. As you'll see in just a moment, waiting across the street over to this gym. Look at all the yellow gyms up in town. I like that. Uh, I'm going to be getting my, my seven-day streak for Pokestops. I'll also be getting my seven-day streak for catching Pokemon. I'm going to wait and do that in a little bit. And I'll be getting the research breakthrough because I have some pretty simple matches, or matches, pretty simple missions to accomplish here in the game. I gotta catch one electric type Pokemon or battle in one raid. That is my stamp for the 19th, another research breakthrough box. Now, I'll do that in a little bit. I've got an appointment at the bank, first of all, to go take care of. And uh, after that, I'll be doing some of these. Ooh, what's with that egg? Look at that. There you go, smarten up. I'll be doing some uh, more missions, see what else we can accomplish here in-game. I like learning what you get from the missions on the fly. Like, uh, what was a cool one? I had a mission to do 20, or sorry, catch 20 weather-boosted Pokemon. When I caught all 20, nine tails appeared as the reward for that. That was pretty cool. Also, I'll show you right here, as you're seeing. I was walking around hatching an egg, and uh, when it popped open, boom, shiny love disc. What are the odds of getting a shiny out of an egg? I'm, I'm sure people have calculated it, but pretty cool. My first hatched shiny Pokemon. I was quite happy with that. And uh, yeah, max attack too. Pretty good uh, top tier Pokemon, at least I think 82% if your Pokemon is, uh, when the uh, Team Instinct Spark guy says that it's, what, battle with the best of them. 82% I think is the highest, I did look that up. All right, so let's grab our first stop of the day. And generally, when you get a stop of the day, or first stop of the day from a team, or a gym of your team, you get a lot of stuff. Let's just let this all happen. Check out all this. I got, there's an egg. What is my evolution? There's a uh, dragon scale. I'm just going to let them all flow out. And they're all popping automatically for me. Very nice. There we go. All right, it's going to hit X. Grab them all. That was loud. And let's see how many items did we just pick up off of that. Where's my journal? I got a massive 32 items from that first stop of the day. Very cool. All right, so my appointment starts in just a little bit. I'm going to hold off on catching the electric type or battling in a raid until I have more time to do the Moltres encounter afterwards. Let's take a quick look what's in the neighborhood here. I mean, I could do that to Sableye, but I'll hold off on that. There should be a raid going on still here at the, actually the Aquatic Center right here. As soon as I am done my appointment at the bank, I'll take that on. Hopefully it's going to be a Mawile, because I need more candy for Mawile. And then we'll see what we can do with the possible, most likely, Moltres encounter for our research breakthrough. So I'll meet up with you in just a little bit. So nice and quick and simple, the meeting is done. Let's see if we can go down and find ourselves a nice electric type Pokemon. They do tend to spawn a lot down at, come on, click it, this stop here, the Peter Buckland Galeri. Spelled wrong, but whatever. We're going to head down there. I did go down there yesterday to see if I can find some electric types. They didn't show up for some reason. Let's see if today is our lucky day. And I'm glad to see the weather is back. Don't know if you caught it in the first part of the video, but woke up this morning, there was no weather symbol. Apparently, the weather system had gone down globally from what I saw on Twitter. And we weren't getting any uh, weather boosted Pokemon, but it has now been fixed. As you can see, it is technically partly cloudy, but the game reads it as cloudy. Okay, whatever. Let's see if there's any electric types. Again, I don't see. Well, there's a Chin Chow down that way, but if there's no electric types at this stop, I guess I'll just head down and take on that Sableye. That's another one of our missions as well, too. There, it could be shiny because that's the gym I was standing at when shiny love disc hashed for us okay so something I hate to do is trash items when I can get better use out of them instead of just getting rid of them you know use them for a purpose but uh, my items are maxed out I kind of want to get more pokeballs I don't use the revives that much I tend to retreat my Pokemon before they're knocked out and heal them with potions as much as it hurts to do so I'm gonna toss out 42 revives keep us at 30 and give us plenty more space for pokeballs it hurts. I hate tossing stuff. Oh wait, here's the electric type right here. Voltorb. You didn't show up on the nearby. Let's see if we can get this capture here. Alright. Can we get this thing and get a Moltres? Actually, you know what I might do is head down to that gym anyway and get both missions completed. 
Might as well do that. That's our first catch of the day here, too. So, mission one complete. What are your stats like, random Voltorb? Decent, not amazing. All right, so let's go tackle that raid after getting uh, some items here. I see there's a legendary egg about to hatch as well. Don't know if we'll get enough people together at this time of the day for that one, but you never know. All right, I'll meet up with you as soon as we have conquered the Sableye. So we just double teamed against the Sableye. Uh -huh. Pam, right? Pam, yeah. So Pam has helped me out. We're going to take on a shiny. No, no shiny. No shiny. Oh, well. Well, it's still nice. Yeah, the luck was not here. I already used it up for that uh, love disc, of course. So so even if I don't catch this thing because he's attacking like crazy, I don't care. Because this is a completed mission for a Moltres. Nice, nice. You said you got your Moltres too already, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if there'll be different things spawning when I get to the end of the week. Two more days and I will have um, another shot at something nice. Nice, absolutely. That's what I like. So people are upset that Moltres keeps... Oh, bad, I got mine too. Good job, us. People are upset that they're giving Moltres out repeatedly. But ah. it's like, think of it like you don't need to do a mission every day to get your Moltres. You can actually go more relaxed with the yeah, research. that's a lot of what it is. Like, I missed like five day streaks. I was sick. Yeah, exactly. Back into it. I got it. You still got Moltres. It's like, I, I would assume every month they're going to switch it out to somebody else. Maybe Zapdos, Articuno could be the next one. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see. I was kind of happy though because Moltres was the only bird of the three that I didn't get back when they were out. So for that to be the first one, I'm like, yes, I got all three birds now. <laughs> so this Sableye can battle with the best with max attack and defense. Not bad. All right, so would you like to join me for my research breakthrough? First, I'll get my potions. <laughs> and, hey, good job with the field research. We've been through this, we know. So we get the research box. First, where's my potions? There we go. I'm going to claim this basic reward later. Let's get this big old box opened up here. 2,000 Stardust, love it. 20 Pokeballs, love it more, because I use those a bunch. And I guess this is it. Let's start the encounter. Now... I might have to cut because, as you guys know from previous videos, these things don't like to stay in the balls. I'm going to go for the pinat berries because I want the candy. So, I'm at 194 Pokeballs. We're going to come back and see how much I have left after the encounter is done. There we go. Okay, not as bad as the last one. Still annoying. I don't know why the game thinks it's fair to have the Pokemon fly up the moment your ball flies from your hand. But it does. Anyway, we got another six candies. I was expecting 12. I forgot we're not during the Kanto event anymore. What are your stats like? 1381. Are you higher than before? Battle with the best. You're much higher than before. Max HP, max defense. The only thing lacking would be the, uh, of course, attack stat. It's kind of nice. I almost kind of want to switch to using this one, but I would feel like I'm betraying my original Moltres. I'm going to hang on to this one because... If and when trading does come into play, I would like to be able to offer some kind of high-level Pokemon to some other players that I'm not going to be using. Like, I'm saving all those Dragon Pulse Ampharos, even though I don't plan to use them. If I can trade them off to people that were not around for Community Day for Mareep, why not? All right, let us complete another mission. What was this one again? Catch three electric types. So you do get a Pikachu for this. Uh, I think my cousin Mike and I were wondering what you would get. So we're not going to get the Pikachu because I can't throw straight. I'm still in Moltres throwing mode. Come on, Pikachu, stop dodging, even though you did not a single thing to dodge those. Do we get the catch on the first ball? Technically, third ball. There we go. All right. Not doing too bad. So i got a lot of space to get some more Pokeballs. More space for missions, too. So I'm going to grab as many missions as possible to see what the rewards are for these ones. Ooh. That's a really strong Pikachu, too. Not bad. So the continuing adventure to get more missions is underway. What is that? There's a Sneasel up there. I forgot Sneasel can be raid bosses. 
There's an Agron. 1126, we see a legendary hatch. I might go for that one. That is close to lunchtime, and there's a lot of people in that area, so that could be doable. Hopefully, they'll pop back in in a little bit with that. For the time being, as I said, it's mission time. I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool, a neat little new feature they've added to the whole research aspect of the game. This stop down here, I picked up a mission from off camera. It is catch three grass, fire, or ground type Pokemon. Pretty sure you get Numble for that as a reward. We'll see what happens as we get that completed. But once we finish it, I want to show you what happens to that Pokestop. Uh, it looks like there's a grass type just this way, so let's go grab that Roselia. So this nice little patch of uh, dirt grass, we'll call it. Let's grab this Roselia and show you. It will actually show you at each Pokestop if you completed the mission from that stop yet. So as we get this completed, I gotta claim the reward first of all. Getting what I do believe will be Nummel. First of all, what's this Roselia looking like? Really strong, really strong HP. Not bad, it is weather boosted. So let's claim our reward for this. I also have a second spin three stops. And there is the Nummel indeed. Not a very great throw, but probably still going to be a catch. If I know my Nummel, and I think I do, there we go. So that completed. Let's see what the stats are like on this thing. I say thing, not to be offensive, but I don't know if it was a boy or girl. For this girl, there we go. You are looking like max HP, pretty decent. So that stop now, where is that at? Right down here. If I can tap on it, see the little top right corner, you see a little blue binoculars with a check mark. That means we completed the research from that stop. So if you're going to that stop, spinning it, not sure why you're not getting a mission, it's because you've already completed it. So they let you know that now, which is very nice. Okay, so something I'm going to do is go to the shop. Because my items are maxed out, what I was planning to do is wait till I can get one of my Pokemon knocked out. I've got two Pokemon in gyms right now, waiting to give me my 50 coins for the day. And I was going to buy an upgrade for both the items and the Pokemon. Generally, I like to try to keep 150 coins in stock for if and when we happen to get a 10 kilometer egg to buy an incubator, incubate it immediately if I don't currently have one, and I don't currently have one. So instead of, st or instead of dropping 400 coins on two upgrades, I'm gonna prioritize, I want more storage for my items. Let's do it. That still leaves us with the 150 for an incubator, so I'm happy with that. We can now hold 50 more items very nice let's start restocking and since we're pretty much uh, close to 200 pokeballs I'm gonna go and do a massive I'm gonna go this way actually first of all do a massive lucky egg stardust capture spree for the next half hour see what amazing things that I can get I'll show you any potential shinies any cool hatches that happen along the way and failing that we'll just pop back in and see how much stardust we go up to we're at 87225 current experience points are 221715. Keep those numbers in mind. There'll be a test later on, I'm sure. And I'll show you what I'm at after this half hour of a catching spree. And so at the tail end of the Lucky Egg and Star Piece, let's take a look at what we got. I might show you a brief little montage there. I did get a whole lot of fish Pokemon, water types. Of course, living near the water, you're going to find a lot of those. And uh, I did hatch, at the very end of it, a pretty big Pokemon on actually from a 5-kilometer egg. I forget your stats were like. You're really strong with really strong defense. I think we've got better Onyx than that. But still, it's kind of cool to get one of them hatched up. So currently, I'm sitting on a mission of, or rather two missions, 
uh, spin three new Pokestops. I'm going to wait until tomorrow before doing any of those. If I can get a third one today, great. I have three gym battles to win to get another Pokemon to show up, so I'll be doing that in a little bit. But for the time being, I'm going to head up here to the City Market, which has been kind of uh, being battered back and forth between a couple teams. People trying to strive for that Latios, so I think that means there'll be a team ready to take that on. I'm going to go in there and join in with that. And, uh, was there anything else I was going to do? There was something else that I was going to mention. Completely lost track of it. But if it comes to me on the way up, I will jump back in and mention that. Now, I remember, I was going to show you what we're at for Stardust and experience, right? I did say there was going to be a test later on. I'm up to 95,000 Stardust, which is good. I think that was at 83 to start with, so... 12,000 is not bad, and from 22,1 to 23,5,000 experience points. So still a long way to get to level 39. I am very patient with that, though, because once you hit level 40, currently there are no higher levels to get to. I'm in no rush to end off my leveling up anytime soon, so I'm taking my time with that. All right, now let's hit that Latios raid, cracking open in four minutes' time. And, I mean, since we're waiting for the egg to hatch anyway, let's get that mission complete. Battle three times in a gym. Oh, I didn't even notice how strong this thing was. It's got counter. Uh-oh. That's going to hurt. So we're not going to take this gym down, I'm pretty sure. We only have like two minutes till the egg hatches. But we'll try to get at least some points towards that mission. Stop countering me. Use Hyper Beam. We resist that. All right, well, we've got plenty of revives. I'll let Steelhorn fall, unfortunately. Oh, it's got close combat, too. Oh, man, i got another rock type in here. Oh, well. Rock City can handle this thing. There's one. Do we have time to get two more? Why do they give me Rock Steady against a Vaporeon? Come on, game. What are you trying to, trying to pull here? I can't speak. It's too crazy going on here. So I gotta watch out for Water Pulse Aqua Tail. That can hurt too. Let's get Reptire in here. And again, Rock type, but at least not double effective against us. We got Bite, we got Crunch. Would it be fun if we can actually take the gym down and get the bonus premier balls against this Latios? Ain't gonna happen, I'm pretty sure. But this will be two victories. Do we have time for a third one before the egg hatches? I don't know. We've got 50 seconds, let's go. Jump in quick. I want Gengar. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give uh. Slayer, we'll go Slayer. Come on, we can do this. Let's get that hyper beam powered up. Our Hurricane, no, we got Hurricane now on our Dragonite. Nice stab Hurricane. And Stealing, I believe, is the standard attack. It's going to be one quick win. We'll complete the mission while we're waiting for others to show up for Latios. Go ahead, close combat counter all you like. Does nothing to our flying type. Come on, go. Yes, there's our win. All right. We're just going to back out of the gym now. We don't need to complete this one. And now we're good. I'll let you stay there, Vaporeon. And the egg, seven seconds away. Let's watch this happen, and then we'll get ourselves the reward. There's a Beedrill in the area, too. Cool. There it is. Latios. Boom. Will we get the capture? I don't know. But what do we get for this gym battling reward? A Jinx. I would have tried to a fighting type. Oh, let's... I'm going to try to get this catch. I'll come back as the raid battle begins if we get a crew together for it. So the raid was a success. We did defeat the uh, Latios, and to save you guys the on-screen frustration of me struggling to catch these things, I decided I'll show you in post-video if I did manage to catch it. Should have shown you the actual catch, because as you see, critical catch, Pinup Berry. Stats were not too great on this one, unfortunately, but I'm happy with the first one I have anyway. Max attack, 
high level, you know, top tier kind of thing, so... Yeah, okay, the legendaries had me burnt out for quite a bit, but we did today, so far. We did today, so far, pretty good. We did pretty good, so far, today. It was a puzzle, I had to rearrange the pieces. And uh, we got Moltres, we got Latios. I just saved myself 120 kilometers walking for those six candies that I got, because I did pin at Barry, if you saw that. And, uh, okay, so that is it for the time being. I'm going to go grab another mission in a little bit, but first of all, i got to recharge, because my battery pack, although the phone is at 50%, battery pack is pretty much gone. So i got to go recharge for a little bit, and I'll get back on the mission hunt in a little bit, so I'll catch back up with you shortly. Well, I'm all charged up once again and ready to roll. Next leg of the adventure is going to be shopping, because I'm going to stop into City Market. There's a few kind of healthy things I didn't pick up last time I was there. I'm going to grab some of that stuff, and I also have to replenish my supply of Pokemon TCG booster packs at the house for the giveaways that I do on the channel. I'm a little bit low on the packs, so now's the time to uh, restock. I'm going to head up to the old classic Heroes Beacon, see what they have there for packs. Anything I can't get there, I'll head out to the big old mall on the east side of town and grab some stuff there. But if anything amazing happens along the way in Pokemon Go, I will show you that. Well, let's pick up a few packs here at Hero Beacon. I got some Crimson Invasions, one of the sets I need to collect some more for. Didn't have any of the Ultra Prism or... What is the third one? Based on Moon Guardian Dryzen. Can't remember the uh, third set name. I was thinking about that too, and I can't recall it. Anyway, I gotta go to the big mall out east, see if I can pick up some cards there. They got a nice big uh, Toys R Us out there, so I'll see what they got there. They probably got some of the other cards in the floor. In City Market, I did pick up some more healthy things. I got some carrots, which I realized I didn't pick those up. I love carrots. Pickles for the sandwiches I like to make, and uh, some more peanuts, and some more snacky type stuff. And uh, I guess I can eat healthy for a little bit longer for, you know, health rise, health reasons, health purposes. Can't really find myself a little belt clip thing to carry my water bottle in. I checked out a place up here, a little bit too pricey for uh, my budget for the time being. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have the money later on eventually. But for the price they were looking for, it was like about, say, 50 bucks for a little pouch to carry your water bottle, water bottle in. I'll just keep it in the backpack. It's much more economical that way. All right, so I'm currently in the middle of a Catch-10 normal-type mission here up here. See if I can catch some more normal type Pokemon. The rain has begun, as you can probably see on the screen. It's in my pocket, but I think it's still raining. So I might find some more low tag. I need some more candy for our little Mariachi, the long for evolution. I might be able to find that before heading out to the big mall. And uh, again, let's just keep doing some more missions. See how far we can get in our gold medal. We need a thousand total missions complete for that one. Currently at a little over a hundred. That's a lot of missions. Well, let us get rolling. So we're out here at Big Old McAllister Place Mall, and uh, if it doesn't look like a zombie scene here, I don't know what does. Anyway, I just dropped my phone. One second. We are here to, as I say, do a little bit of shopping. I gotta pick up some more uh, Pokemon cards. Stop into Toys R Us out here. The rain in game has let up. Fortunately, I was hoping we're gonna find some low tad out here as we were waiting, you know, kind of wandering around waiting for the buses. I might still go ahead and do a little Star piece and lucky egg catching spree. I got a lot of Pokeballs to burn through. My items, actually, my items are maxed out. So I think I might go ahead and burn through some of my uh, excess Pokeballs here. Try and get some Stardust and uh, more experience points. Let's head on inside. They've actually got renovations going on. That's why everything looks all fenced off. Well, is all fenced off. Doesn't just look like it. They have a new entranceway coming in this way. Normally there's nice brightly lit entrance ways, but right now for the renovations they've got this dark spooky hallway you gotta walk down. I kinda like spooky things though, so it's cool with me. Alright, let us go check out Toys R Us and see if they have the Pokemon cards looking for. Ultra Prism and Burning Shadows. I remember, didn't look it up, I did recall, took my word for it. Let's go. Well before doing the shopping I decided to do a little walk around, see what I can find for Pokemon. I did use the Lucky Egg and the Star Piece. I got a good amount of experience and I'm at over 100,000 Stardust now, which is where I like to get to as, sorry, or sorry, as soon as I want to power up a Pokemon. That is my goal to hit, power them up, wait till I hit there again, power up another Pokemon, yada yada yada. And all that walking around did give us a 2 kilometer egg hatching. See another shiny love disc in our future? We got an arrow. I saw one of them in the wild, I thought, is it going to be shiny? Because these are shiny too, apparently. No such luck. But your stats have really strong attack working for you. Okay. Now, 5 o'clock hit. The rain is now 
dropping down on us. Can't you tell? Rain everywhere. But I think I'm going to sit in the food court for a little bit, grab myself something to refuel, and see if any low tads show up. There was one when I got here, so it must have been lingering from the previous rain. There might be more coming up. Then, after a little bit, after I've had something to eat, I will go do my shopping and show you what I got as far as Pokemon cards. Rumor has it. I might open a pack in this video if you guys have a chance for that code card. Stay tuned. Well, I did manage to pick up a three pack of Ultra Prism. Get the cool Porygon Z with the initialize ability as well, de evolving the opposing Pokemon. Pretty cool. We have a Dialga uh, coin in there as well. So these are for future openings on the channel. But as I said, we've got a single pack of Ultra Prism. I'm going to open that right now, see what cards I get, and what code card you guys have a chance to get. If you're quick enough, get that code card and then put it into Pokemon TCG Online. So just one second, I'm set the phone down. I can pop this pack open. The angle's probably all weird here, but it's only for a moment. I said just torn open. Actually, I can show you guys as I'm doing it. I find these packages, it's hard to open without ruining the cardboard. Of course, that cardboard is not what you're interested in, it's the cardboard inside. Alright, first of all, let's tear this open. I've seen the first card. Oops, oh well. Okay, so, grab the phone again here. So first things first, there is your code. Feel free to enter that into Pokemon TCG Online. Get yourself the online 11 card booster pack of Pokemon Ultra Prism. Okay, so, I forget the pack trick exactly. Hang on. So we got... Hang on, let me do it like this. Why do you get to see me? You get to see the cards, right? That's the important thing. So we've got the three uncommon. This is the energy. There's not enough space on these tables. Rare reverse foil. This here. Whoops, I've already messed up. I don't know what card this is. And here, okay. So... Make sure we are focused. Spin them around this way. And let's see. So this is the mysterious uncommon, rare, I don't know. It is an uncommon, so we have Gabite with the Ascension. We've got the Psychic Energy. Next we've got Sneasel with a sneaky smash attack. We've got Eevee with Gnaw. We have a Magmar, we have some laughter in the background, you can probably hear that. We've got Moralol. I think this is the last common is Piplup. Yes, it is. That's the one that I saw. So the uncommons right here, we have a Looker Whistle. Search your deck for two cards named Looker and put them into your hand. We've got a Dorothy here, Drift Blim, Damage Transport, and Wind Wheel. The reverse foil is going to be an Araquanid, Grass type with Water Bubble, being immune to all fire type damage, which is good because that is its weakness. And the rare card of this pack is an Electivire. Is that foil? No, it is not. With Steel Short for 60, the opponent's active Pokemon is a metal Pokemon. It is now paralyzed, and Volt Knuckle for 130. So, that is what I got out of my pack. But again, there's your code right there, folks. Take that Pokemon TCG online. If you're interested in Pokemon TCG, feel free to enter that code in and get yourself an online booster pack. So, with all that being said, the phones are starting to lose power, and the battery pack is as well. I'm going to go back to the Uptown area, do a last little bit more effort on trying to get myself a completed mission for Win a Raid. Don't know if the rage is still going on this time of night or not, but if nothing else, I'm going to restock the Pokeballs because I did spend a good number of Pokeballs here. I might do one last little walk around though for another Lucky Egg and uh, Star Piece mission. I'll probably do it before I leave. And then I'll see you uptown as we finish up some uh, more missions perhaps. Well, it's now Friday morning and the reason for not finishing up last night is because basically when I got home after all that running around, I laid down to uh, get a little shut-eye, and I passed out, woke up around 4 a.m., so it's like, you know what? Okay, I'm beat. That's the end of the day. But uh, I need to film an outro right now, so first of all, apologies for the terrible audio, those last few sections of the video. This thing right here, my audio recorder, which actually is seeming to be fine, it has multiple settings on it. The setting I'm using right now is the best i found for talking. It sometimes randomly switches over to a different setting, and the audio was really bad, so I apologize for that. Seems like it wouldn't be a Professor Chaz video without some sort of a mess up happening, right? So, I mean, you know, we just got to roll with that. Anyways, my next task for the next several days is to try to keep boosting up some more coins. I want to get enough for a Pokemon upgrade, maybe another item upgrade as well. And if I can get my 50 coins per day, 
It's only, uh, only going to be a few days for each one. I still want to keep 150 just in case we get another 10 kilometer egg for incubation purposes. And my missions, easy one today, but no raid. I might get another one of those spin three stops at some point too. Adventure into some more areas in town. I'll show you that in the next video and stuff. It's currently snowing, it says, even though it's not. But anyways, hey, I should go out. That's more chance for steel types, more Beldum. Maybe. Anyway, that's going to be a wrap for today's Pokemon Go video. I realize I didn't pick up any Burning Shadows packs just yet, but I'm going to check out some more places in town, get some of those for giveaways in future Pokemon TCG videos. So stay tuned for that on the channel, either pre-recorded or live stream. And I also didn't pick up any cheese. Cheese is not the healthiest thing, I guess, but it is very delicious, and I do like it. I usually put it in the sandwiches I make, and I haven't mentioned this. I might show it off if you guys are interested to see. I'm not a gourmet cook, but I can show you the kind of sandwiches that I like. Basically, tuna salad sandwich. you got lettuce, pickle, cheese, whatever. I can show that just to show you what one of my... No, you know what I should actually do? I'm always talking about it's good to bring snacks with you. Next video, I'm going to see if I can set up to show you guys some snacks. Some healthy options to bring with you as you're walking around. To do my little part for keeping you guys healthy, I guess. But uh, that's going to be for next week. And we'll also see another research breakthrough. Will it still be Moltres? Will it be something else after three weeks? I don't know. I would assume still Moltres, but who knows what they're planning. And I don't know when it starts. Let me just double check here. I'm going to check the news and see. When does Latios come over here? Uh, on May 8th, they will switch location. So it will not be in time for next week, but the following week we should see Latios around here. But I could get another Moltres catch, more other rare species as well. So stay tuned for that in future videos for Pokemon Go. In the meantime, thank you for watching today's episode, folks. If you enjoyed it, of course, feel free to leave a like down below. If you want to see some more videos in the Pokemon Go series, check out the link in the description to the playlist. Feel free to share that playlist, this video, or the whole channel with a friend of yours to get them in on the Professor Chaz fun here on the channel. And uh, if you want to see some more videos I've done, check the links during the outro. You can also subscribe for some more daily Pokemon content from Professor Chaz, including hopefully the return of live streams if my internet will cooperate with us. We'll have to see. I'm going to do some testing in the next little while to see how well does it hold out. But that is going to be a wrap for today. So folks, once again, thank you for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off. And as always, I will catch you next time.